What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cowl Vault and in today's video I'm just going to show you guys my uh, Dawn of Justice 3D printed cowl that I just received two days ago. So um, no intro today, just a really quick overview of the 3D print. So this thing came in four pieces. It came with this middle part down to the middle, the two shoulders, and then the little back panel, which is very, very small. And all this white stuff that you see on here is this stuff right here, the dry dex air dry spackling. So it actually goes on pink, and then when it's completely dry, it turns white. So all of these pieces have been resined together. There's also some resin there at the top of the head. Um, which kind of seeped inside, but it also helped to cover some of the holes that were actually in this print line here. You can see the little oval section. It actually printed from the bottom up, and there was some parts you could actually see through here at the top. It actually helped to fill those in. So the shoulders, the back, have all been resined in, and then I just have them reinforced with duct tape right now um, because these this little flashing that you see around the outside, um, there was a little bit of a gap, so I had to fill that in with some of this um, spackling. And that's why I have the duct tape in the background so that it wouldn't seep through or fall through. It just needed something as a, as a back so that I could fill it in. But here it is. Now this print was printed for me um, by somebody on eBay. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember their name. It was just a one and done print and the original creator of this file is Art Divine. Now I did not purchase this file from Art Divine. Um, this was just on eBay. Um, somebody had already purchased the file and they just offer fully printed cowls. And here is the Dawn of Justice version. So again, this is created by Art Divine and printed by somebody on eBay. I did not purchase the file. I did not steal the file, so I want to make that very clear. Art Divine actually reached out to me to ask who I got the file from because it wasn't him, and I said I didn't purchase the file, I just printed the fully printed cowl. And he said, okay, that's fine, I just wanted to make sure that people weren't um, buying my files and then distributing them for profit, which is not what happened. He said that having the fully printed piece is completely fine. So, there's a lot of work to do on this, as you can see, there's so many print lines. I believe this is Art Divine's like fourth rendition of this, and I really like the look of this one. I believe this is the exact same one that uh, Ninco Creations actually offers. This is the file that he purchased, and he has done all the work on it and added a really amazing texture to it. So I hope that mine can live up to those expectations one day. Um, so I am planning to make wearable copies eventually, but as you can see, I'm a long ways away from that happening. I gotta do so much work on this before it is at that stage. But the really huge beneficial part of having this particular file is that the eyes and mouth are filled in completely and it already has the flashing around the cowl for that's perfect for molding because you always need a flashing, otherwise you're gonna get an undercut right here at the bottom of your sculpt or your resin piece. So the fact that it has flashing all the way around the cowl and that the mouth and the eyes are filled in will make molding this incredibly easy. So I have not done much on this at all. I've just put the pieces together with resin, reinforced the back with duct tape, and I have polyfilled all the seam lines which then need to be sanded down as you can see there's also some extra resin that has seeped through when I um, first put this piece together I've also filled in some holes that were at the bottom of the chin so my next stage is to sand this generally smooth get all all that extra polyfiller off then it's going to be hit with the first coat of primer. Then I'm going to have to sand the crap out of this thing, prime it again, sand it, find more imperfections, fill them again, prime it, sand it, prime it, sand it, you know, over and over and over and over and over again, fill it, prime it, sand it until it's perfectly smooth. And then I can go in and start adding some texture. Now, how I'm planning to achieve the texture is 
I actually don't know. I'm up in the air about that right now. Um, I really just want like a generic texture. Um, but I also kind of want mine to look a little accurate. So um, Paul Roberts, Artsy One, has actually visited the screen used cowl and sent me a really high quality photo of the actual texture. It's like from the eyes up to the temples of like high quality zoomed in texture so that I can try to replicate it. Um, so that will be the next, well, the stage after all of this. But just wanted you guys to know where I'm at with this project. And this project, I'm gonna invest a lot of time in trying to make a wearable copy that actually moves. Like actually, you're gonna get a little bit of a head turn. Not a full, because I'm not a master, but if I can get just a little head turn, I will see that as a win. And Paul Roberts is also going to help me out with some tricks on how to achieve that because this baby will be casted up in latex, which is a lot more flexible than urethane. So that's where it's at, guys, for the Dawn of Justice Batfleck print that I acquired on eBay. Very early stages, but I hope to have a turning cowl one day. And um, depending on how long that takes, how long it, what the materials cost and stuff, I might be able to offer a short run of them. Um, but that's for the future. Right now I just got to get this ready for molding, but still a long ways away. But yeah, there it is. The Dawn of Justice 3D print created by Art Divine and printed by a 3D printing prop maker on eBay. Boom. There it is. I just need one for the thumbnail. And there you go. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching and until next time, peace out and be good people.